if there is some entrepreneur mm. he or she just listening to us right now tried millions of times to do something that he or she is passionate about yeah and uh, it's not working and they want to raise the white flag on themselves what is that the best advice that you can give it to them to keep them always in the game if it's not working and they have tried it many times maybe it's not meant to happen just let it let it go you know it might come back later on you know but let it go shift your mindset to something else uh, try something new build a new business you know come up with something else but just drop it accept the failure and move on move on very fast you know the world is evolving in an extremely fast pace we have to cope with that so don't dwell much on your failures let them let them go and move on and pick up yourself extremely uh, fast and sometimes it's okay for things not to work and it's okay to ri- to raise the white flag it's fine and this is again backed do you know that you can be a reason for changing people's life from this channel probably you will ask me how i will tell you how my name is ahmed khalid and i am the host of this unleashed podcast we speak mainly around personal development and entrepreneurship our mission is unleashing the human greatness to its utmost potential and this is by interviewing ceos entrepreneurs and coaches physically in dubai to extract their wisdom and change your life now can i ask you to do me two favors firstly can you hit the subscribe button it helps this channel to grow more than you expect secondly can i ask you also to refer this channel to three of your friends who can benefit from the values of this channel and you will be the reason of changing their life now you can enjoy the episode how do you manage your work life balance as an entrepreneur right now yeah well um, i don't balance most of the time but uh, <laughs> honestly speaking, you know you don't you cannot be an entrepreneur and have a life balance you know uh, formula it's not it's not that easy especially you know as a mom as well i have a, another job so uh, I, i i do have a lot of open tabs in my brain mm-hmm. uh, between uh, getting the grocery done uh, the kids uh, uh, kids uh, schedule uh, their their own activities uh, work uh, my meetings my my health you know so literally there are so many things that come all at once it's not easy to get that balance done um, i shuffle a lot in between things and i multitask i'm very good at multitasking honestly i have to say i can be in the mi- in the middle of the meeting while ordering groceries online and i get that sorted uh, immediately but one of the things that really helped me maintain that work life balance or maintain my uh, my sanity okay because at the end of the day we might go insane most of the time as entrepreneurs and business owners we have a lot of ups and downs so we go into a really a deep depression that no one talks about you know and no one no one really teaches you how can you what are the things that you should do as an entrepreneur you know how to really uh, not to fall into a dip how to not be depressed and how to overcome all of those no one comes doesn't come with a book to a certain extent you figure it out yourself so um, one of the things that really helps me a lot is really taking those short breaks every now and then where i literally disconnect i either go on a retreat literally with people that i don't know i shut down and i just take my time or i go on an extremely challenging experience something like hiking mm-hmm. that it requires a lot of mind over body challenge that really pushes me to focus on nothing but what i'm doing right now in the moment uh exercise helps a lot as well in really taking out all of that negative energy from me but again and i'm being very fair it is really hard uh, and again i'm emphasizing on having the uh, the support enough support from your partner your kids your family all of those they really help a lot in making sure that uh, you maintain uh, again a healthy lifestyle without getting burned out a lot I cannot see I cannot say that it is easy to find a balance. You just need to create it. You have to create it. You have to say to yourself, "Stop. I need to take a break. Let everyone be aware of what you're going through." Before that, um I used to suffer myself. I'm I'm a very 
you know, you don't see me crying in front of people, not in front of anyone, not in front sometimes of my husband, you know, I just take it all in. I take it out when needed and then I come back. Perfect. I'm that strong iron woman that don't collapse. Well, recently I decided that I need to collapse. I'm a human and it's okay. It's okay to collapse. And recently I started sharing even with my team that, and I did that recently and I did flag that, guys, I'm not okay. Mentally, I am not okay. I am extremely down. And the, the good thing about sharing is that they really feel you. They really understand that you need the break because there, is, there are two things. If you don't take the break, you're going to collapse and everything else will collapse with you. The whole business will collapse. So you cannot afford collapsing. You need to find something else. And when you really put around yourself that iron man, iron woman, that I am perfect, you know, I don't collapse. To, so, and you don't share your, your feelings as raw as they are, everyone thinks you're doing fine. When you keep on saying, I'm okay, I'm okay, for them, you're okay. But I guess we need to get out of that, that space where we need to pretend. We always pretend. And you see it a lot in entrepreneurs. They pretend to be okay because you don't want to sound weak in front of everyone else. You don't want to sound weak in, maybe in front of your clients. You don't want to sound weak in front of your family who who is really relying on you. You know, you're supporting them financially whatsoever. So, but no, just be honest and tell them, I am not okay. And it's okay not to be okay. So, um, when was that time that you figured out that I need to be vulnerable like this? Not, not recently, like mm -hmm. literally maybe, maybe last year, you know, not, not, not very. But, but why, why you think that it's powerful? Because as you said, some people or some entrepreneurs, they think it's weakness. What no. what makes you realize that it's power? I, I always say vulnerable is, is, is the new beauty. It's There is beauty in being vulnerable. You're, it's, it's you. It's literally you, you know, and you're conveying the message as you are. You're conveying the, 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 your feelings as they are. Uh, we're not taught to be vulnerable. We're taught, and especially in this world, to be tamed. You know, if, even, even if you remember, you know, as a child, you know, we have people coming over. Don't say this. Don't say that. It's not okay. Aib, whatever, you know, we have those words in Arabic that we use. So you're tamed all the time. You tam your emotions and your feeling. Uh, don't cry. You're a boy. You know, boys don't cry. So again, no, being vulnerable is just being you. I am, I am me at my highest and I am me. I am at my weakest. And uh, this is where this is where you find true people next to you. This is where you find true friendship next to you. This is where you find your support system and you literally define them. You know them, you know, that I have one, two, three, four that I can rely on and they're going to support me in any situation that I'm in. And honestly, I'm not interested in anyone who is not willing to support me in me being vulnerable. It is, it is part of me, you know, and as an entrepreneur, we have to let it out. I'm not saying I have to burst into tears in front of <laughs> everyone. No, that's not it. But just say it out loud that mental health is extremely important, especially when you are an entrepreneur or a business owner or someone with an extremely high position. You have to communicate them. You have to fix them and deal with them. Otherwise, you're, you're going to collapse. And whatever you have built will collapse. And as I said, us, we go through a lot of ups and downs. We have that. At the moment, you are on top of the world because you figured out a new service or a new product. And the second day, you are literally uh, rock bottom because one of the clients said, I don't like it. And then you have to pick yourself up all over again. That requires energy. Okay? So taking care of yourself, you know, mental health is extremely important. With your wisdom and experience right now, if you have a speech in front of of the new generation um, with your experience in corporate and now on entrepreneurship what will be the advice that you can give to people or ge the new generation will you ask them to go fully as an entrepreneur mm -hmm. and start it or just to be fully as a corporate or what is your philosophy uh, well my, my philosophy my philosophy to start with is that for you to be an entrepreneur you need to have the soft skills 
the soft skills are usually gained in the corporate world. You need to you need to go there. You know, you you need to get yourself, let's put it dirty. You know, you, you need to get you need to get polished properly, okay, in order for you to be able to build a business. You know, it's not again, we come back. Everyone can open a business, not anyone can sustaining mm. can sustain it. Now sustaining it comes from the soft skills and the experience that you have learned in the corporate world. Well, corporate world is not as bad as we entrepreneur, you know, making it look like, right? And I guess I have to say that a lot of entrepreneurs gave the corporate world really a bad image. It's not that bad. Some people are made for corporate and I highly respect them. You know, they're literally made for that. And some people are made to be, you know, entrepreneurs and business owners and not, you know, both of them are okay. So the corporate world is not as bad as we entrepreneurs make it look like, right? No, it has its good and bad, just like it has its good and bad. So no, yes, they have to go and take that experience of the corporate world. Why? Because the corporate world, you get exposed to a lot of knowledge. You got exposed to a lot of people. You get exposed to a lot of friends. You make a lot of friends. Um, you share uh, knowledge. You, you learn. Again, it's a learning curve. Uh, there are so many processes that you have to deal with. There are so many um, uh, things that you need to, to learn from. So it's a learning school. It's another it's a learning school that's really going to train you to become who you are. Now, if you have an idea, yeah, launch it. But what is an entrepreneur? And what, what is it, you know? Usually it's someone with really interesting idea that is solving a certain problem. And they're building something on it. Now, while you are in the corporate world, you can still do that. Back in the days, it wasn't the case. Mm -hmm. You, especially when, with micromanagers, you know, you just say what I do right now. Mm -hmm. What I say to the, to, the, to the young generation, just speak your mind. Speak your ideas. Don't let anyone tam you. Just get them out with corporate or not corporate, you know. If you find a problem or if you find an opportunity, jump on it. Even if you are in the corporate world. And... You know, get give them give them the advice. I always tell my my team, please, if you have an idea, bring it on the table, because I might not be able to see it. I'm so busy with my day to day operations that I it might not click to my mind. So any new idea should be welcome in the corporate world. And in order for that new generation to be welcome there, the corporate world needs as well to change their culture. You know, it has to embrace that new generation. The new generation is totally different than us. Uh, they're way bold. They're very, you know, they have a lot of courage. They're so passionate. They do things for a cause. You know, you have to convince them. So if you see they have to do something for the sake because of sustainability, they have to do it because, you know, uh, inclusion, uh, diversity, they have to do something for a certain cause. If the corporate world doesn't have that culture of a cause solving a problem what's in it for the world what's in it for me then the core the new generation won't cope with it and i guess that's why the new generation is finding the corporate world a little bit dull and boring because it's very systematic it's not solving something and they do love to solve something at a certain point so for the new generation you know be curious make sure that you're curious all the time learn a lot uh, learn how to fail and pick yourself up uh, uh, very fast. Uh, make sure new entrepreneurs, keep your eyes on your financials, specifically your financials. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you're profitable enough year over year. Make sure you have good mentors that are walking with you all the way. Even if in corporate world or uh, as a business owner, we always need mentors. We always need mentors who speaks our name wherever we are, who really puts us in front of opportunities. So... I can give so many advices, but just be yourself, be authentic, and don't let anyone tam you in this world. That's it. Thank you. It's amazing advice. Thank you. Another advice I'll ask you, which will be the last advice. If there is some entrepreneur, mm. he or she just listening to us right now, tried millions of times to do something that he or she is passionate about. Yeah and uh, it's not working and they won't raise the white flag on themselves. What is that the best advice that you can give it to them to keep them always in the game? If it's not working and they have tried it many times, maybe it's not meant to happen. Just let it, let it go. You know, it might come back later on, you know, but let it go. Shift your mindset to something else. 
uh, try something new, build a new business, you know, come up with something else, but just drop it. Accept the failure and move on, move on very fast. You know, the world is evolving in an extremely fast pace. We have to cope with that. So don't dwell much on your failures. Let them, let them go and move on and pick up yourself extremely uh, fast. And sometimes it's okay for things not to work. And it's okay to, ri- to raise the white flag. It's fine. And this is again back to our uh, uh, vulnerability uh, topic. It's okay to be vulnerable. You know, just accept it and move on. It's all about acceptance right now. Just let it be. You are, by just by being an entrepreneur, by trying even, you are way ahead of everyone else out there by just being bold enough, by, by having enough courage, by having enough passion to really pursue a dream or an idea, you are already way steps ahead from so many people. So be proud of yourself. You're trying, you're achieving, you're making it happen. It doesn't work. Let it be and move on. Nancy, thank you so much for coming here today. Uh, with your passion, I believe that you will go to a place where magic happens uh, with your uh, vision and with your tenacity i wish you all the best and thanks for coming here today thanks a lot for having me here i hope you know i did you know bring some some values to you to the podcast and i really really wish you all the best with whatever you're doing it's really inspiring so many people i wish back in the days we had the same thing to listen to over and over and learn again and best of luck thank Thank you. you unleash is the bridge between my purpose and my mission And my mission is unleashing the human greatness to its utmost potential.